How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video here on the Western Feast channel. So today is going to be one of those relaxed videos where I'm just bringing the camera along with me on my little excursion in the woods. So we're going to be checking trail cameras this evening. Um, I might shoot my bow, I'm not sure yet, but we also have a little package that we need to unbox before we go check the trail camera from our good friends over at Irish Setter. So we're going to go ahead and jump into that and uh, let's see what they sent me. I love getting goodies in the mail, don't you guys? I don't have my tripod, so I'm using a chair and uh, a box. It'll work, it'll work, guys. So we're gonna go ahead, open this box, jump right into it, and uh, see what they sent me. I have an idea of what it is. I actually already know what it is, uh, but I have not seen them in person, so I'm not sure what they look like. But we're gonna get a little, a little look-see right here, and we'll get to test them out. We're gonna go walk back to the trail camera. Fixed it, uh, the camera was crooked, and uh, I just situated the box. You know, it's not like no technical thing with a tripod. It's a matter of just getting the box situated so the angle looks good. You know what I'm saying? I actually picked these boots out. I know what they look like, uh, but I have not seen them in person. So we're gonna get the first look. Me and you, together, as a team. This is gonna be cool. It's a bonding moment for us, you know? <laughs> what the heck? Don't know what that says, but here we go. Our good friends over at Irish Sutter sent these boots over and uh, just... <laughs> Ooh, woo. Oh my gosh, look at these, look at these. Woo. That is slick. So pretty much me and Irish Sutter have partnered up for this hunting season and uh, they're pretty much gonna be behind me. They're gonna be providing my boots for this hunting season. And uh, this is the first boot that they have sent me. I got to pick it out myself. I'm super stoked to be rocking this. I've never had uh, like lace up boots like this. And actually, if you can see, they're not even lace up. They're a twisty thing. So it's like a twisty knob right here. I've never owned boots like that. So I don't have to worry about lacing these things up. I literally just slide them on and uh, twist that little knob and get it tight. That's crazy. That is absolutely insane. But these boots are super, Super slick, oh my gosh, woo! All right, let's get some close-up shots of these and then we'll talk a little bit more about them. And then we'll get to test these things out while we're hiking back to check the trail cameras. Dude, I am so pumped, I'm pumped. The boots that I have on now that I ended up getting from them, um, they're the Ravine 9-inch waterproof insulated boots. So now they aren't lace-up, they're just that little twisty knob, as you can see right there. So it makes it super easy in the mornings if you want to get up, just throw your boots on. All you got to do is twist that little knob, and you don't have to worry when you're hiking around in thicker stuff about your boots coming untied, because I know that's been a very big pain for me when I used to have a pair of lace-up boots. So I don't have to worry about any of that with these. But today is the first little break-in period for these boots. My first time wearing them. My first time actually getting to see them in person. And I'm beyond stoked of how they look. They look good online, but once you see something in person, it's just a whole nother ball game. And I'm just, I'm blown away. They look absolutely amazing. And they feel great for a boot that is not broken in yet, that is still very, very new. They are stinking comfortable, I'll tell you that. But we were making the long trek Back to the trail cameras. We got the dogs, as always, with us. Taking a little hike with me, getting some fresh air. But we're making this long trek back to the trail cam. Gonna check it and gonna see if our target buck is on there. And take a little look at the food plot again. Just make sure everything is looking good. And also, if you haven't checked it out, the previous video was me giving my mom a brand new kayak. And my girlfriend actually already gave her the kayak, but I titled the video giving my mom and my girlfriend their dream kayak. So you're gonna have to go back on the channel, check that out because it was stinking awesome. I got an amazing reaction from my mom and I couldn't be more thankful to give her something like that. Now we can kayak whenever we want. So a lot of kayak videos are soon to come. Well, the good news is the food plot is still up. We've had a decent amount of rain this year, so it's kept this clover 
and some of this other grass coming up pretty good. And anytime I come back here, like always, I'll pick up the sticks. You know, just make the dinner plate a little bit more appetizing, if you know what I mean. There's the tree, the wonderful, the wonderful, wonderful. I don't know, I just said wonderful three times, but there is the wonderful tree that I'm gonna be sitting in this fall, trying to chase my target buck and that beautiful white oak. That is super exciting. Now we just gotta see if this deer is staying on camera. He was very consistent last year around this time up until the beginning of bow season. So now we really gotta key in on him and make sure he is staying with that same pattern. If not, then we gotta figure out what he's doing for this summer pattern coming up into the fall hunting season. But that's fun. That's what's fun about hunting. The dogs already smell the trail and they're already up at the camera. As always, they know this route and uh, they're very familiar with it. So we're gonna get up here Get this camera checked. We'll see what we got on it. Anytime I get up to my camera and check it, it's like opening like a little goodie bag or something on Christmas when you check it because you never know what's stinking gonna be on it. It's just exciting. <laughs> Come on, let's go check this camera. So, as far as trail camera pictures, if you guys can see, we have one coyote right there, no big buck. We have two little baby fawns right there. We have nothing. We have the two dogs, and there's me filming a YouTube video. That's honestly kind of a bummer, because usually this time of year, I'm getting a ton of deer pictures. I also, Last time I did this, I had corn out. You're allowed to have corn out during the trail camera season. Um, and as soon as September 1 comes, you cannot have corn out. So that is the only reason I put corn out, just to get the deer in a more concentrated area to take more pictures of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuck back into the camera, turn it on again, and uh, I guess we're gonna wait and recheck it in another week and a half or so. I left it up for a week and a half that time, and we got a lot of does and pretty much what I showed you guys, but no bucks or the big target buck. So that kind of stinks. But pretty much the layout here, I probably said it in the last video, but all that down there is bedding. We got a big white oak flat right there. And then we have the big main heavy trail. Got a fly on me. The big main heavy trail that comes right here. And there's a big thicket also over there. And I'm pretty sure that's where that big buck is staying. <laughs> Come on, Tucker. He doesn't like walking long distances. He always cuts it short and he'll cut through, like right through here, and we're always walking up and around. We still beat him though. You wanna do another race, Tucker? See if we can beat you first one back to the house? <laughs> I feel bad, he's getting old, but he loves coming out here and checking the trail cameras with us. Gotta get those shots. New boot goofing, baby. And one thing I will say about new boots, I'm wearing them right now just because you should wear the crap out of your hunting boots before hunting season. If you're like me and you do a lot of public land hunting and you hike in pretty long distances in the morning or the evening coming out, your feet are gonna get very, very raw if you go in with a new pair of hunting boots. It's no fun, trust me, I have done it. I have done it multiple times. So one thing I've learned that I can give you advice on is to wear your hunting boots as much as you can in the off season and just get them broke in so your feet are all comfy and the boots are nice, broke in, soft, feeling great uh, for once hunting season comes around. So the overall review of the boots, I've been wearing them for a couple days now. I'm filming this outro a couple days after all the stuff that I just filmed, but I love them. I absolutely love them. So from the very beginning, I loved them. They were comfortable and I've got them a little bit more broke in now. I've been hiking in them, checking trail cameras and uh, putting out some corn and that kind of stuff. So they came out of the box filmed like boots that were already worked in. But now that I've gotten to wear them a little bit more and uh, they're starting to get more fitted to my feet and all that stuff. So, I mean, they're feeling great. They're feeling absolutely amazing. So if you guys want to check out Iris Setter and get you a pair of these boots, I'm going to have them linked down in the description and their website. So make sure to go check them out. So huge shout out 
out to them for partnering with me for this year. I'm super excited to see where the future is gonna lead as far as hunting, fishing, these videos, all that kind of stuff. Um, I just feel like I'm on the right path. So if you guys wanna stay up to date on all the stuff that I'm doing as far as videos, hunting, fishing, my Instagram posts, all that kind of stuff, make sure to follow me on Instagram, at Weston Peas, it's all conjoined, no space, and also subscribe on here and hit the notification bell. So I post two videos a week, Wednesdays and Sundays at 7 p.m., so you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for all the support on all the previous videos. You guys are absolutely killing it. And for all the new subscribers that I've recently got, thanks for following me, I really do appreciate it. So make sure to leave a huge like on this video if you enjoyed it, it just helps boost the video and lets me know that you guys enjoyed it. So once again, thanks for watching guys, we will see you in the next one. Love y'all.